of it. Can't wait to slit some bastards' throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. All the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... It shouldn't be too much the way it comes to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. <laughs> ah, you're a funny fella, John Marston. From what folks say, you had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. They're left here, towards roads. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old ba bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now. In the gunner's seat, <laughs> back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say, Not the dad, no, please. Not this again. Fine, damn you three. Sulky, angry, scar faced. A right barrel of laughs. So, we blocked the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Here's the. Oh, yeah. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Are you crazy? Remember, these are innocent folks. If we handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Get us out of this, Arthur. Just park it right across the tracks. Me distraje un segundo. Let's get it on the tracks. Whoa, whoa. Me he distraído un segundo. Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. up here join us on board go on get on there hey Foster. all your captain we'll go on ahead everybody stay calm shoot her you get shot I, I don't go want to get everything you got money valuables <laughs> There you go. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. Please, I'm not a bad man. I ain't got nothing. You want to have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Come on, don't do your best. these two, will you, This is unnecessary. Never do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. 
Okay, okay. In the bag, I everything you got. Keep it coming, don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. Ten months of school life. I want to count for three. God oh. damn it. Ah. You're sick as better than dead, lady. And I lose you my goddamn patience. Let's don't just do what he says so this can be. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. You boys need me. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Look guy, huh? Great job. You sure about Why that? Why you time? You show this Quit. son of a Come bitch on. we ain't playing around here. Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. What is now? Is all that's a car? Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay. Nothing what is? It? You all right? Build the baggage car. For Christ's sake! You ain't even taking a look yet. Probably something in here, Arthur. <laughs> This time I'll look and you provide the cover. Try me best, brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Hostia, que la pasa el brazo ahí. Gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. I don't. Tennis rackets in there. Hot bastard. Just keep your eyes peeled. Well, you deal with me best, all right? I know, that's what's worrying me. All right, we should probably be going now. These folks are rich, all right. Come on, we should get out of here. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Hush, Schmidt, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberals. Eh? There's a few more of them turning up. Mm. Yeah, my big mouth. Okay. Let's deal with him. He won't tell you again. Come out now with your hands up. Look out on the left. Here come the friends. Come on, come on. Come on, the trees there. Coming in! 
fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. <laughs> Shut up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. And you weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. pasta. <laughs> Chum. Chum? Do you want an autograph or a photograph? I'm sorry? People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I, I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill. Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? I... Oh, well. <sighs> nice to meet you. You too. Arthur. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no! To marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Huh. So... You're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together. Like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's, it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> It helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I'll fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe I shall. Mm. Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear. Okay.
Excuse me? Because if they did, they can get lost. <laughs> I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at. Balderdash. What are you doing? Are you quite certain you're not a spy? A spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What theories? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere... Everywhere? <clears throat> this state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Is Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir! There, boy. Yeah. So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about, or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? <clears throat> Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You see, that train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you, we try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift saying things oh yeah what do you mean by that i was a prize pony once now i'm a workhorse listen dutch is but but well <laughs> 